Hey everyone, I'm Naman and today we'll be discussing problem C of code forces round 657 div 2. So the equation says that you are given n different types of flowers and for every first flower you buy of one particular type you get AI happiness and for every subsequent flowers you buy of that particular type you get BI happiness. Now you are given infinite supply of these flowers and you have to select n flowers in such a way that the summation of the happiness is maximized. So let's take an example here. Let's say we have these different four types of flowers and we have to choose four flowers only. So what will be the optimal answer? We can see that we'll first take a flower from the first type, then a flower from the fourth type and then two flowers from the second type. So basically 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 which makes 14. Now let's see what is going on here. So basically we had A1, then we had A4, then we had A2 and then we had B2. Now, what if we had to select three, five flowers from this? So basically, if we see, we would have taken one more flower from the second type only. That means a plus three and making an answer of 17. And that means one more from P2. Now, let's take a look here. Now, we can see that after taking single flower from some particular types, we are actually fixing a type and then taking all the subsequent flowers from that type itself. So basically, if we see here, we first take all the flowers which had an AI greater than the BI of the flower we fixed. So basically from type 1 and type 4. And then we took all the subsequent flowers from type 2 itself. Now let's try to fix some other flower. Let's say we fix this flower now. Now we know that this 5 is greater than 3. Therefore we will take 1 from the first type. This 4 is greater than 3. Therefore we will take 1 from the fourth type. And then 2 is smaller than 3. Therefore we will take all the rest 3 from the third type only. Therefore, plus 1, plus 3, and 1 more 3. So this gives us 16. But we know that 17 is the optimal answer. So basically, we have to find some way in which we can find the fix the bi and then find the answer. Now, instead of thinking of greedy approach, we can actually make use of some binary search here. We can find the answers for every bi and then return the maximum of these. Now, how to do that in an optimized manner? For that, we see that we are actually sorting these AI. So let's sort them. We have A3, then we have A2, then we have A4, and then we have A1. Now, let's say we had to find the answer for this three only. Now, what we were actually doing is we were looking at the upper bound of this three. That is because we were taking five and four. Therefore, we can see that the, now let's write the values also. One, two, four, and five. So basically, upper bound of three will be four. Now, since there are two elements after this, we'll say that we have taken up two flowers and we have a happiness value of 5 plus 4, that is 9. And now, since we know that we'll have to take the rest 3 from the type 3 only, therefore we'll have 1 plus 3 plus 3, which is 7, and this total makes up a 16. Now, instead of finding the sum, we can pre-calculate the sum and have a prefix array in the reverse order. So basically, we'll have 5 here. 9 here, 11 here and 12 here. So that the upper bound will work in log of n and we will have to find this for every type. Therefore the complexity will become m log m which is the desired complexity for the solution. So let's have a look at the code now. So I am scanning everything here. I have made a different vector for the AIs and I have sorted them in increasing order. Then I am pre-calculating the summation of them in the reverse order. And then for every bi I am finding the most optimal answer they can get and then finding the maximum out of these. So that's it for the video. Feel free to message me if you still have any doubts about this question and also do subscribe to the channel if you like the video.